Welcome in the kitchen. So glad you all are here and you joined me in my kitchen. We're going to do a little bit of prep work right now. Um, I just got my Sam's order delivered. I mean, it was a big one. Got most of it put away. Um, I have mushrooms. This is how they come, wrapped in this cell phone. This is what I do. I always wonder about my mushrooms. Here is my basket. It's got a solid bottom, but it's got vent holes on the sides. Can y'all see that? There's holes. See all those little holes? All right, this is what I do. Easy peasy. It's right here. That's all I do. If they have little big pieces of dirt on them, I try to pull them off. And y'all want to do this as soon as you get them home. You do not want them to sit. The longer they sit with this cellophane on them, plastic wrap, the quicker they're going to rot. And I get the baby Bellas and the white ones. And I always just mix them up. I like them both. And I just mix them up, okay? But I have eight cartons of these mushrooms, okay? I'm gonna put four of them in here, my basket, to use for fresh. The other four I'm gonna freeze. I'm gonna show y'all how I do that. But y'all, this is all I do with them, and they keep for two weeks. That basket of mushrooms will go in my refrigerator. And it'll stay for a couple weeks. We'll have fresh ones. And in the meantime, I'm going to get these together and I'll show y'all how, how I'm going to freeze these. I'm going to slice some and I'm going to chop some. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, here I'm back. I'll see I got my slicer here. And uh, we're going to slice up some of them. Two of them I'm going to slice and two of them I'm going to chop. All right, so let's start with slicing these up here. And these, I usually just take my hand or a paper towel, which I think I'm going to get a paper towel. And I just knock the dirt off of them. The others, I will do that when I get ready to cook them, okay? And let's see, I can probably put a couple in there. But I don't want to put water on these. No, you do not. Absolutely do not want to put water on them. Okay. And I'm slicing them kind of thick because that's the way I want them. Slice them as thick or as thin as you think you like and they'll be just fine um, so but this does them beautifully okay and I'm just dusting them off here before I put them in here. You don't want to put water on them because they're like little sponges. and They will absorb that water and then they're full of water anyway. And they'll be really hard to get. The water out of them, you'll have to cook them forever to get the water out of them. So, there's my dishwasher. It's done. I have to stop here in a minute and empty it out. Yeah, I will. Okay, let's get these and put them in our, our bag right here. Y'all know I like to use these. And I looked, and on Amazon, 
ones exactly like this are not available, but they've got other similar that I've added to my storefront for you all in case that's something you're interested in. Um, I love them for my vegetables and things like that. I don't put anything in them like it's cooked food. Um, I just use them for like fresh vegetables, mushrooms, onions, peppers, celery, that kind of thing. Or something that might be um, wrapped like breakfast sandwiches or something or ice cream sandwiches or something like that. Now this one's got a lot of dirt on it. I'm going to cut that off. Okay. Because that's not wiping off too easily. This is real quick, you all, and then I'll have mushrooms for a while till I use them all up, which I y'all know I use a lot of mushrooms. Um, but I tend, around where we live, Sam's tends to to always have the freshest produce of anywhere, even over and above our grocery stores, unless it's something locally sourced. Then uh, cut that off so that'll fit in there. It's a fat booger. Oh, and it's still got some dirt on the bottom. Come out of there. There we go. Go in there with these, and then we'll get a. Uh oh. Okay. We'll do one more box of these, and then. This box right here doesn't look all that pretty. It looks like it's got some that are starting to go bad. You see that? It's like a bruised place on it. It's still okay, but if I left them in that plastic, they will not, they wouldn't be here tomorrow. They would be all mushy and yucky. So, And these are 24 ounce cartons of mushrooms, you all. So a pound and a half of mushrooms times eight. It's 12 pounds of mushrooms. That's a lot, isn't it? Twelve pounds of mushrooms. This one again has a couple of little bad spots on it. It's still all right for right now, but it would not last very long. So, a 
That's the smallest one I've had. All these have been great, big, beautiful mushrooms. I load several in this little one here. Okay, let me grab me out another bag here. I thought I had one right there. Mm. Having to go back to the old standby, just a Ziploc. All my others are in use. That's all right. It's all right. No big deal. And he's been taking a nap, y'all. So don't ask me where he is. He's in there in the bed taking a nap. He does that just about every day. And so this is nap time. Got two more in here. And that's all we're gonna have sliced, which is a lot. Okay, I'll put that over there to be washed now. That goes in there in the trash. We got two big bags of sliced mushrooms here. And then we're going to do these other two. Like I said, we're going to chop those. I put those in dressing and chicken casseroles. And um, my rice, when I make veggie rice. And I'm going to use my and these I'll do the same way. I'll just do that right there. And these are beautiful. They don't have any dirt on them. They're clean. Most of the time when I get them at Sam's, they are very clean. Very clean. I see these come out just like little, little pieces. Some of them are longer than others. That's okay. They're small little pieces. Let me grab another Ziploc bag. Got out one of our bag holders here for these. Now these are the handiest little things right here. Okay, now I'm just going to chop all these up just like this. And they're all going straight in my deep freeze out there. I'll pull them out when we need them and uh, we'll have them. So that's gonna, that is how I care for my mushrooms. And I'll be back here in just a minute. We're gonna do lettuce and celery and peppers. All right, now we're gonna do our peppers. Got green peppers. Got six green peppers. 
And I've got six, two red, two orange, and two yellow. Actually, I'm only going to do one of each one of those because I'm going to use those in my salsa. Or, yeah, I'm going to save those to put in salsa. Okay? So, here we go. I'm going to wash these off real good. And I'm going to put them right back up here on my board it's got a little well a little draining well use your spoon sit down table no andy just got up from his nap and came in and got him something to eat y'all got some noodles all right there's our peppers now then, let's get this knife, this big old knife that cut my finger last night. I just went to pick it up, and I just reached for the handle, and I hit right in there. Slice my finger. If y'all want good sharp knives, this Knife Saga knife set, is they are the sharpest knives I have ever encountered. actually get a smaller knife. That one's too big. I'm going to go with this one. I saw somebody cut a pepper like that and said you didn't have to deal with the seeds. Well, I did. I didn't do such a good job. I'm going to cut mine the way I always do. Like this, you cut the top off, you cut the bottom off, cut it right down through there, and then come in here like this, and it just rolls right around. Then you don't deal with the seeds. No, you don't. That's the easy way to do it, y'all. Top, the bottom. And then you just roll it. Although the green ones do have more seeds. I wonder if celebrities ever cook. Do y'all wonder that? I do. I wonder sometimes if, you know, like Oprah or, or uh, Sandra Bullock or any of them, I wonder if they ever cook. bottom of that one is rotten. I wonder things like that all the time. I, I wonder.
And do they enjoy cooking? You know, I wonder that. Did their mamas teach them to cook? Okay, here we go. Look at all this big pile of peppers here. Yum, 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 yum. Wonder if they put stuff in the freezer. Wonder if they like organic produce. Y'all, I didn't wash this from when I did the mushrooms, and it'll be just fine. If it has a little piece of a mushroom mixed in with these peppers, it will not hurt one thing. Because you know what? Nine times out of ten, if I'm putting peppers like this in something, I'm going to throw some mushrooms in there with it anyway. I am. I most certainly am. See, I'm just chopping them with this little chopper here. Just whacking away. Love good fresh peppers. Yum, yum. Y'all, I tried to grow some peppers and watermelons and things like that. And Coco decided that if it was round, it was a ball. And she would go get them. I had three watermelons, and they were all about this big round. She got them. Thought they were balls. And they were hers. She got them. Um, so that did not, that experiment did not go over well at all. So I do not know if we're going to do a garden next year. Seemed like this year it just did not do well. The weather and so forth. All right. Here's just some of our peppers. Now I'll just put them in a bag. I don't blanch this stuff, you all. People say, oh, you have to blanch it. Yeah, I don't. My mama never did. And it was just fine. It's not a bad spot. So, you know, this is easy peasy. You just chop and freeze. So, if you all can get them in bulk, if you all go to like, maybe you don't live real close to a Sam's or a Costco or something, but you like to go, well, stock up and stock your freezer. And then you've, you've got it. You make one trip maybe once a month or every couple months. And uh, just stock up on stuff and you can have fresh stuff. And a lot of it you can order. Um, your pantry stables, staples and things like that. You can order that stuff and they'll send it FedEx or UPS or something. Yeah, they will. Um, so, just get your stuff and stock up and that's what I do. And I, I mean, I've got one close by, but about once a month, or every two weeks, depending on what I've got and what I'm needing, um, is all I go because I just, um, and then I order and pick it up. 
Um, I don't even go in. I don't know when the last time I was in Sam's was. It's been a while. It has been a while. Because I've been doing it like this for quite a while now. It's so much of a time saver. And it's a money saver because there's a lot of stuff that I, I don't buy because I don't see it. <laughs> so, you know. We've still got our lettuce and celery to go. That'll be for salads. Y'all have got 50 pounds of potatoes to put up. We're going to do that here in just a few minutes. Or we're going to get started with it anyway. So y'all just hang with me. I'm going to finish up these few little peppers. Get all that ready to go in the freezer. And then I'll be back. And we'll do our lettuce and celery. Alright, I've got the peppers done. Now let's do our onions. That's all I do to onion. I just cut them. Just like this. Peel that outside off. Just like this. I've got sweet Vidalia onions and I've got sweet artisan sweet Italian red onions. Y'all will notice I always have sweet onions because I'm not a, I don't like a hot onion, so to speak. Um, so, Okay, and they're going to make me cry, so I'm going to turn y'all off while I get them all peeled. Okay, y'all, I turned you back on show you the finished onions. My eyes are still watered. Do y'all know why that happens? Okay, put that on my pile for the freezer. And I'm going to clean up some of this and get some of these onions put up. And I didn't do all of my onions. Um, I'm going to get the dried skin parts off of the outsides like this. Then I'm going to put these in the refrigerator so I'll have good fresh onions when we make our salsa. Because um, I'm going to get us some tomatoes and we're going to make salsa. Yum, yum. And I make like a sweet salsa. You may not like that. That's what I like. And so that's what I make. Um, you can make it as hot and spicy as you want to with, you know, whatever you want to put in it. Um, but we don't like a real spicy salsa. Matter of fact, we don't like anything that's real spicy. So... I'm just getting this real, kind of peeling them, but I'm not slicing them, the ends off of them. I'm just kind of getting the top dried layer off so that I won't have that mess in my refrigerator. Okay? Because all this top layer or two, this dried onion just flakes off and it falls in your refrigerator and then you have to clean it up. And don't we have enough messes to clean up already? 
I think we do. I did put these over here and wash them a little bit. So. All right, I'm going to finish peeling these onions. Get them in the refrigerator. And I've been telling y'all we're going to do our lettuce and celery. And when I come back, we are going to do lettuce and celery because that's the last of our fresh produce that we got today that we need to go ahead and prep and get ready for whatever we're going to put it in. Um, if y'all do this when it first comes in like this, then you've got the hard part done, really. Um, and, you know, when you get ready to cook, you just, you got all your chopping and prep work done. And yes, it takes a while. I know I've been standing in here for a while to do all this. But y'all know it's so much more convenient if you have it done. And then, then cooking is not a chore. It's something that you can um, really enjoy. So I'll be back here in just a minute, okay? All right, here's our celery. This is just why I buy it or order it from Sam's, just celery sticks. They've already been washed and kind of cleaned, but I always like to wash them again. I do, so I'm going to get out my big colander right here. It was right there. What on earth have I done with it? There they are, and they're over on the other side. Got two of them, y'all. Love these, they expand out. All right, I'm gonna set that over here and get it rinsed in some cold water. First, I'm gonna cut the ends off of it, just like this. Give it a good, clean cut. Then I'm just gonna rinse it right here in this water and leave it sitting there to drain. I usually turn it up on its end like this, so that it can drain. And this will be ready then to put in a salad or to cook with or whatever. It'll be ready to go. I'm gonna let this drain. Then I'm gonna do our lettuce. I'm gonna show y'all how to get the core out of a head of lettuce. Some of y'all may not know. Easy way to get the core out of a head of lettuce. All right, there's our celery. How easy was that, y'all? Took all of, what, one minute, maybe? Let me put this over here in the trash. Move my trash out of the sink. Got to get the kitchen cleaned up before we can do anything else. Yes, I do. Okay. Now then, here's our lettuce. You're taking everything out of plastic. You don't want any plastic at all of any kind if your vegetables, okay? You take your lettuce and you whack it just like that. Then you come in here and that pops that core right out of that. And then what I always do is fill this up with cold water. Turn y'all around here just a little bit. Oh, can't get you turned, can I? Oh, maybe y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm just filling it up with cold water. Turn it right back over. And we're going to let it drain. You just give it a good whack right there. And that core just pops right out. See how that lettuce will hold water? You just want to fill it up like a bowl. And then turn it over. That's what washes all the inside of your lettuce. 
leaves. It does, really does. All right, that was very quick, easy, and painless, wasn't it? All right, I'm gonna let that stuff drain right there. I'm gonna get the kitchen cleaned up. And when I come back, we'll put this in the refrigerator and end this video and we'll start us another one, okay? Okay, this is the secret to keeping your fresh vegetables crispy in your refrigerator. Aluminum foil. And I'll just wrap it up just like this. Put that back in my refrigerator. And when I get it out, it'll be as crispy as it can be. And here's all of our celery sticks. Some of those still need a little work, but I'll do that when I Fix them to eat whatever I'm going to put them in. So there's our lettuce, our celery, our onions, mushrooms, and our peppers. And that's all that I've got to do right now as far as prep work for vegetables that I got today. Um, so I'm going to end this video because I know y'all are going, good Lord, she's putting up half of the country's worth of vegetables and sometimes it feels like that. It really does. Um, but I'm always so glad when I go, oh, I just want a salad for supper and everything's washed, everything's ready. All I have to do is take it out, give a few little chops and we've got us a good salad to go with any kind of meat. And so, Y'all, it, it's worth it if you do it like this. It really is. I can't stress enough that your prep work, you know, doesn't go for naught because you, your stuff stays fresher longer. It doesn't go bad as quickly, and you're more likely to use it if it's already prepared. Just saying. Or at least I am. I'm always more likely to use something if it is already washed and prepared, I'm more likely to use it than I am if it's not. So I try to schedule groceries on days that I'm like, okay, I'm ready for a good day of putting things up and freezing and doing that. Otherwise it just gets left and then it goes bad and then you've wasted your money and heavenly days, groceries are so expensive right now. We cannot afford to waste anything so, y'all remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a video. And remember, we've got a contest coming up real soon. Um, we've got to get to 3,500 subscribers, and I'm at th almost 3,300. So I need 200, I think 205. As last I looked, I need 205 more subscribers, and a lot of you all watch and do not subscribe. To be entered in the contest, you will have to be a subscriber. So, keep that in mind. Um, so, we've got to get to 3,500 and then we're going to do our contest, okay? So, remember that. Share the video so people get to see them. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.